We're talking football with one of the most recognized former Vikings. The superstar is in the house. She's one of the WNBA's brightest young stars. Talking links with Monica Wright. Families of the Focus, Rod's Golf for the Gift is now days away. You can get involved and you're going to meet Andover's AAA pride and joy of the Little League Diamond. It's all ahead. It's game on. And it's great to be with you again. Welcome. You found Game On, powered by the courtside bar and grill behind me. I'm Rod Simons, and to all the dads out there, happy Father's Day. Great to have you on board. You're going to have a great show. Lots to talk about. We're all over the National Football League and football, talking a little basketball. we got the kids behind us. We've touched all the bases on this very special day for dads and kids as well. We always start the show by giving you Game On by the Numbers. Today is no difference. Let's set the stage for you. The Twins hit the road for interleague play over the next week. They'll be in San Francisco. They go to face those red hot Milwaukee Brewers and then they're home for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Always something special when the Dodgers come to town. Hockey week is here as the National Hockey League draft rolls into town and owns St. Paul for the few days at the end of the week. And ready or not, 76 days until high school sports return. I know you're not happy with that because we haven't even enjoyed summer, but truth be told, not far away. Couldn't be more excited on this Father's Day than to start with the superstar, Mike Morris of K-Fan Radio. Thank you for being here. Rod, how you Happy doing? Father's Day. Thank you very much. I've got a bunch of kids, four kids. You, you have a bunch of kids, right? I, I have a, one little one who's five years old and five going on 14, and it's a very special day. Well, I expect big, big presents, big gifts, and uh, nice. to be coddled nice. a lot, but thank you. You are a bundle of energy. Do you ever, does your motor ever stop running? <laughs> I don't think it ever has. I hope not. I hope it never stops. Nice. Having too much fun. But uh, I, think, I think that's what you have to have, doing what, uh, what you and I do and, and to play the game of football. I think that uh, it's been good to have fun and I, it, it all comes back. Yeah. It all comes back. You hear him on KFAN Radio. He's the superstar from the Power Trip Morning Show. And when you're with Sludge and Chris Hockey, who we love very, very much, not to say we don't like Corey. Best in the business. In, indeed, indeed. You guys have a lot of fun when you're on the radio. We do. Uh, you know, the Power Trip has been going now uh, almost 10 years. Wow. And it, it's been a lot of work. And at the same time, I'm surrounded by really, really good people on that yeah. show. I've got a great producer in Chris Hockey, great uh, co-host, uh, Corey Cove, uh, we've called him Sludge for years. He's Corey Cove now, but we've got a, a fun show, and we yeah. tear it up, and yeah. we do have a lot of fun. Let's talk about the National Football League before we go to break. With all the labor unrest, fans have been kind of uh, caught in the middle, if you will, and kind of forgotten. A lot of them feel alienated by the whole process. Do you think that they're, that the emotions and uh, they'll, they'll forget some of the things that have happened and there'll be fans once again come season? Oh, no trouble. I mean, the, the fans will come out. As long as we're playing football on yeah. time, I don't think there's any, any problem with, uh, with that. I, I think that you would have some unrest, some, right. some real unrest, if you started missing regular season football games. Right. And it's, if you take away their training camp and their whole ritual yeah. of building up and that hype that you have building into a football yeah. season, I think if you take that away yeah. from the fans, you, you could have it for a while, but certainly yeah. it would be very short-lived uh, if, 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 as long as you start those games on time. You played uh, a lot of years in the National Football League. Do, will players and management be able to get along and bury the hatchet? Oh, sure. No, uh, they really? will. Uh, absolutely. It's business. It's a big business. Uh, you have to have uh, both to get the job done. You have to have people willing to spend money. Uh, you have to have the players and the product on the football field. Uh, this, this comes up every now and then. There's, uh, there's, there will always be issues when it comes to, to, to labor talks and labor agreements. Yeah. Uh, and getting a CBA is uh, agreement with the kind of money that, that the NFL generates yes. is not an easy thing to do. The fans think so, yeah. but it's really not. It's literally billions of dollars. Uh, a lot, a lot of players' uh, lives and their families, and insurance, and uh, you know, pension and severance, and uh, retired players and benefits. Oh yeah, it's it's a fairly complicated thing. Indeed, it is. Part of that big business is talking Vikings. We're going to do that in our next segment. More with a superstar here on Game On. And don't forget, you can always get the latest on our show. Just go to our website. 
It's www.gameontvmn.com. It's packed with the latest blogs. Brandon on baseball, the boss on MMA. Shocker's Locker will be all over the National Football League. Holt on hockey. We also link you to our partners. The best fan site around for Vikings is purplepride.org. Check it out. It's gameontvmn.com. What are you doing? You can write on these new Bud Light labels. So I'm sending out 12 ounce invitations. Here we go. Yes. Oh, hold on. How many people do we invite? About eight cases worth. For a limited time only, the new My Bud Light bottle with a special label that lets you use a key or coin to write your name, number, whatever. Here we go. Matt, come on. Seriously? Pick up the latest issue of Wheels of Thunder magazine. If it's on wheels, you'll find it in Wheels of Thunder. Full color photos of bikes, trikes, cars, trucks, and even sleds. High performance or right off the street. Mind blowing power, speed, and custom touches. It's all in Wheels of Thunder magazine. Plus, find out about the latest races, rallies, and custom products and services in your area. Check out Wheels of Thunder on Facebook and follow them on Twitter. Wheels of Thunder. The sun has always powered life. And now it powers our latest innovation to heat and cool your home more efficiently. Introducing the world's only solar-powered home energy system, which saves you up to half off your heating and cooling bill. Go green with Liberty Comfort Systems and your neighbors will be green with envy. Get the latest in green technology and save some green. Lennox, innovation never felt so good. We're back. Happy Father's Day. This came on, powered by the Courtside Bar and Grill. Rod with the superstar, Mike Morris, KFan Radio, former Viking. Uh, when you finish your show at KFan, you dash off to other businesses, including your own gym. Tell us about that. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a uh, nice gym uh, for for advanced football players and all all types of athletes, really, uh, uh, gals included. We've had them all in there. It's Milo wow. Barbell Club down in Burnsville, Minnesota, and I've had that for. Uh, for years and years. I've been certified in strength and conditioning for years and years, and I've enjoyed training up to 15, 20 kids a day. Yeah. Uh, high school athletes, uh, college athletes, Chantrell Henderson, yeah. the Tower Nets, uh, Barrett Moen, uh, Matt Burke for years and years, Cullen Leffler. I've had a lot of a lot of good football players in there. But You're in great shape. Wow, I appreciate that. I, I really do. I, just, I try and stay up and, and keep up on that. I, I don't want to let uh, the aches and pains settle in yet. And I, I'm sure that's that's going to happen inevitably, but I'm going to try and control that. At least try and stay in the weight room with them a little bit. But I've got a lot of kids in there. They go they go at it pretty hard. That's very, very Four cool. days a week, Milo Barbell Club. Nice. And I've met some of the kids from... Uh, i got one of my lifters here from Anoka. Indeed, so indeed. So I've got, I've got a bunch of them. So we're glad they're here. Real quickly about the Vikings. When you look at this football team, we talk about the, the quarterback a lot. Is it... As unsettled as some fans might seem, or is there just tweaking, in your opinion, needs to be done? Well, at the, at the quarterback position, I mean, that's a big deal. That's a really big deal Indeed. is to find your future uh, with, with, with your signal caller. You want to you try and make sure that you, you give him the time right. to get into the playbook, to understand what, what's, what's at hand, to get used to his teammates, right. to find a uh, balance in the middle of that football field where you've got a sharp, smart, uh, a, a leader, a yeah. natural born kind of guy that everyone will hang on the coattails of and ride to a Super Bowl eventually someday. And that's a big deal. That is a big deal. But uh, you got to protect him as well. That's where the tweaking, I think, is going to have to happen. Right. Is for them to find uh, some offensive linemen. Uh, things are a little bit dicey up front uh, with Anthony Herrera being laid up uh, with an ACL and coming back from that. We're hoping he can come back right. and play and do well. And. We've had some issues up front. I mean, Lodeholt had a little bit of a, of a sophomore slump, if you will. Uh, we've got to have some more solid play out of him. And Jonathan Sullivan, always injured but battling. Right. We've got to have solid center play like we're used to having right here with great centers, all the way from Tengelhoff to Loudermilk to Jeff Christie to Matt Burke. You like the coaching moves. I love the coaching. I think we're going to be in good shape on the coaching. I really, I really feel good about the head football coach, Leslie Frazier, I've had a chance to sit down and talk with him right. uh, several times. Uh, I like what we've got in place with our staff 
from maybe the, def the best defensive line coach with Carl Dunbar and uh, all the way through. He has picked a good staff. Mike Singletary, oh, yeah. had lunch with Mike Singletary uh, about a month ago uh, there at Winter Park. They've got a good bunch down there, really good bunch. Final thoughts from the superstar when we come back and something very special too on this Father's Day here on Game On. And don't forget, you can get the latest on the Wolves. Just go to my weekly blog at Timberwolves.com. It's Simon Says. Simon Says at Timberwolves.com, part of a great NBA site full of inside information, strong wolf viewpoints, all at your fingertips. Now, remember, it's interactive, so drop me a note, Rod, at GameOnTBMN.com, and give me your thoughts, good or bad, and look for a new weekly blog every Thursday morning at Timberwolves.com. Being creative is who we are. At Wallingburg and Deeply, families are our passion. We help create new families. This combination of experience, passion, and creativity allows us to fully represent individuals in family court crises. Wallingburg and Deeply believes in families. We will listen, counsel, and advocate for you. Wallingburg and Deeply, the premier family law firm of Minnesota. River City Saloon is the place for food, music, fun, and bikers. Bikers get the best parking spot, and inside, from business people to bikers, everyone's going to have a great time. Create your own bucket list at the River City Saloon. There are specials every night of the week and live music all weekend. Get us online at hollysrivercitysaloon.com. And look for the awning just off Main and Anoka, right in the heart of the historic Anoka Entertainment District. See you soon at the River City Saloon. How to order a pizza. Step one, decide on toppings. And Pizza Man says, remember, cheese is included and only extra cheese is considered a topping. Step two, pick up or delivery. And if you choose delivery, don't forget to tip the delivery person. Step three, call Pizza Man for the TV special. Step four, call Pizza Man in Anoka, home of the heavy toppings. Back, it's game on. Powered by the Courtside Bar and Grill. Happy Father's Day, Rod, with the superstar. And before we let you go, one of the things I think is just fabulous about your show, you save the best for last. You honor American soldiers with the true superstar. How did that come about and why do you do it? Yeah, well, you know, it came about uh, really with a book that was given to me by Robert Proft. Pat Proft is a good friend of our show, and his father wrote a book uh, about the Congressional Medal of Honor winners uh, and, and their official citations. And I would read a blurb. Uh, from each one of those citations and talk about each one of those guys. And uh, then, then, of course, there was 9-11, uh, right. uh, 01. And uh, that, that, that began another era, another sort of a, that, that segment of the show that we've become very used to now. It's at the end of every one of my shows. The, a fallen the, the true hero. The true superstar, a fallen hero. Every day. And a lot of the time that's dedicated to a, one of the soldiers, uh, one of the men or women serving overseas in Iraq or Afghanistan or whatnot. It also uh, happens here stateside with uh, law enforcement or fire protection and, and whatnot, a local hero from time to time. But uh, it's dedicated to one of those people that you have, to, you have to humble yourself down, straighten it up and right the ship and end the show on a, on a note of, of seriousness, I think, and send you know, everyone off on, on their way thinking about a person that gave it all, the ultimate sacrifice. Uh, when they were over, serving overseas or whatnot. And I've been over there and I know what they go through and I've had a chance to spend about a week with them in Basra, in Iraq. And uh, they, they told me a lot. They, they talked with me a lot over there. And I appreciated what they were doing for me uh, before I went over there. But uh, after I came back, I had another perspective on that. And it was, a, a, and Rod, I'm telling you, it, it is, it's a sobering thing to just stop the silliness for a while, uh, have a true superstar moment, and uh, appreciate the fact that you can get up and go do a, a fun show every morning and, right. and know that your back is covered overseas uh, the, way the, the way they are doing over there. And, and a lot of people have uh, paid, paid uh, the ultimate price to be, to, to, to be serving us so proudly and so courageously overseas. So remember, happy Father's Day to all our servicemen dads overseas as absolutely well. absolutely thank no you for question. being with us thanks, Rod. thanks for it, all the good work you do <laughs> no thank you absolutely the superstar mike morris <laughs> k fan radio all the links on our website is there ever a doubt well, there was a doubt don't answer that
There's been a lot of doubt, I know. Here on Game On. Time now for Who's Hot and Who's Cold, brought to us by Liberty Comfort Systems, your personal temperature specialist. Who's hot? Got to be the Twins. As quickly as they fall to the Major League worst record and seemingly out of playoff races, the Twins warm up and play, well, as expected at the start of the season. Will it continue? Hard to say, but the frontliners are returning, and it sure looks like we'll see more of that intensity that we expect. The Twins are hot. Who's cold? Got to be LeBron. Even with all the apologies, you can't have it both ways. You put on a signing celebration, you guarantee titles, and then you roll over with a horrible attitude and a loss in the finals. He is no MJ. Fans and public ridicule are not his problem. It's on the court. Check the mirror. LeBron is cold. And congratulations, by the way, to the Dallas Mavericks. That's who's hot and who's cold. Brought to us by Liberty Comfort Systems, your personal temperature specialists. From one superstar to another, meet Monica Wright of the Minnesota Lynx. How are you? Good. Nice to have you here. You guys are off to a great start. How does it feel? You guys are winning. This is great to have a winning basketball team in town. I mean, it really is. You know, I mean, we worked so hard all season long. Um, last season, we definitely worked hard in the off season. We were overseas playing. And just to come back here and be able to just be excited about the season and just know that we're going to do well, you can't, you can't be any better. And beat the champs out in Seattle. And you get this one player named uh, LeBron. No. <laughs> Maya. And you were talking to Superstar about it. Everybody wants to know what's it like to play with Maya Moore. You know, she's amazing. And it's like every single day in practice, she does something more amazing. And, you know, you have to catch yourself a little bit because you're like caught watching and you're like, oh, wait, I have to focus on practice. Um, but she's really amazing. She's just just like LeBron, I think. Um, not the pre postseason LeBron. Um, <laughs> but LeBron before. But yeah. um, she's so humble. You know, she's kind of quiet, but she's just a really good person as well. This is one of the superstars of the Minnesota Lynx. We'll talk more about the basketball team and their very bright future here on Game On. It's Father's Day. Glad you're with us. Powered by the Courtside Bar and Grill. Here's Beasley, isolated right side. He puts it on the floor to the free throw line. Drops it for Love. Three ball on the way. Got it to go! Kevin Love with a 30-30. Johnson rises up and comes down hard. Rittenauer throws it up for Darko and he lifts it in. Tolliver knocks it in. More reasons to get your 2011-2012 season tickets at Timberwolves.com. The Minnesota Timberwolves. United we run. In New Orleans, we know how to throw a party. In the UFC, we know how to kick back. Throw in over 3,000 Bud Light contest winners, and here we go. Bud Light's giving away thousands of trips to New Orleans for the Bud Light UFC Battle on the Bayou. Get in on the action at Facebook.com slash Bud Light or wherever Bud Light is sold. It's the sure sign of fight night. Here we go. Welcome back. It's Game On Power by the Courtside Bar and Grill. Happy Father's Day. Very nice. you got a career in broadcasting here. Monica Wright of the Minnesota Lynx of this. You know, we talked about Maya. She's extra special. Bottom line is this basketball team is special, and you guys know it, don't you? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. You guys played great defense in Seattle. I mean, it's one thing to know you're great and talk like LeBron and all the Miami Heat did, but you guys are backing it up on the court. That game in Seattle was special. Wasn't. Yeah, it was. I mean, just the way we started off the game, the 22-0 run, um, you know, it, it meant a lot to us just to go there because we play in Seattle a lot. So we wanted to get a feel for the place because Seattle is one of the hardest places to play in because their fans are just electric. Oh, yeah, they, and they're defending champs, too. Yeah, they give the Seattle Storm so much energy, and we definitely wanted to get used to that. We wanted to play great defense so that we didn't give the crowd a chance to give the team energy. So that was huge for us. Um, I'm so proud of our players and our coaches. Yeah, and one of the things the coach uh, Cheryl Reeve talked about a couple of months ago with us was trying to protect again, uh, over injury. So your conditioning is priority one. You guys are really a fundamentally sound team this year. Yeah, um, you know, as far as conditioning is concerned, but, you know, we also play overseas for most yeah. of the year. And, you know, we come back and we have little bumps and bruises, but for the most part, no one's really out of shape. The thing is to maintain. So, you know, I think she's definitely taken um, a lot of time out to make sure that we um, do weights and that we do little things, you know, just to make sure we keep that edge. 
Is it hard not to get overconfident when you have, you know, the Michael Jordan on your basketball team? It is. It's so hard. It's I like, bet no, it I'm is. joking. I bet it is. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, it's just you just love the game. You love playing with great players. Um, you love doing well. So, you know, it's just it's not really cockiness, it's not really arrogance. Yeah. It's just It's great just to have win. Fun. Yeah, yeah, it is. It really makes it so much in, better. In any job you do, it's great to win. It really is. It really is. That's nice. So <laughs> looking at the, the season, the bottom line is don't get overconfident, play defense, have some fun on the court, and we're gonna be talking playoffs. You got it, coach. Is that it? You got it, that's is, it. Is that what Cheryl says to you? That's exactly what she says. Is that right? That <laughs> that's nice. Well, we're delighted you're here. Please come back. I will. I will. This is great. Right here on Game On. And get to a Lynx game. Please come. Come out and support us. And don't forget, we'd love to have you here with us at the Courtside Bar and Grill for a live taping every Tuesday. Take in the taping. Be part of this powered by Courtside Bar and Grill with a live show autograph specials on food and drink. And Doug Sutherland, one of the Purple People Eaters, will be with us on Tuesday. Only here. Game on. Powered by the Courtside Bar and Grill. Time once again to focus on our youth, as we do each and every week. This is the, these are the Andover Huskies. They're the AAA team, 10 years old. Todd Baumgartner is the coach. And, Coach, when we talk about these guys, wins or losses at this age, 10 years old, important to you? Uh, no, it's, uh, it's about learning. It's about... Uh developing their skills. Uh, we focus a lot on, on team. It's their yep. first year in, uh, in traveling baseball, so there's a lot to learn. And so we focus on pride in Andover, pride as a team, working together as a team. Fundamentals. And fundamentals, yep. yeah, absolutely, yeah. Talk to any championship team, college, professional, wherever they are, high school, one of the things is, that's important is starting at this age and building that consistency together. Is that important to you guys? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. In, in Andover, we're trying to build a community with a great baseball association. Yeah. We like to keep these kids together yeah. and so they can develop uh, long term. Yeah. And so in the long run, when they do get to high school, they will be you know, a much better team. They'll yeah. know each other. And they will play together a long time. Absolutely. You guys like playing together? Yeah. Kind of fun? Yeah. You like your coaches? Yeah. Woohoo! They like their coaches, especially on Father's Day. Well, that's a good thing. Very, very nice. Record so far, have you guys just started? Uh, we're well into our season. Actually, we only have a few weeks left. Um, we've, we've won five games out nice. of uh, probably about 15, 16, somewhere in there. So. Building. But we're, we're getting there. We're having fun. That's, the, that's key. And over Huskies in our youth spotlight. Now it's time for our Wheels of Thunder week ahead. The Twins are back home against the Los Angeles Dodgers after that long road trip. Star Soccer on July 4th against Edmonton. And MMA back at the St. Paul Armory. On July 8th, the Lynx get Indiana on June 26th. The machine football team is ready for round one of the playoffs. And the Saints will host Wichita. Working together means working efficiently. And a Lennox home comfort system may just be the perfect example. Its air conditioner works together with the furnace. And that works together with the air purifier. And that works with you by saving you up to half off your heating and cooling bill. The future of home comfort is here now at Liberty Comfort Systems. Get the latest in innovation and technology at Liberty Comfort Systems. Lennox, innovation never felt so good. Pick up the latest issue of Wheels of Thunder magazine. If it's on wheels, you'll find it in Wheels of Thunder. Full color photos of bikes, trikes, cars, trucks, and even sleds. High performance or right off the street. Mind blowing power, speed, and custom touches. It's all in Wheels of Thunder magazine. Plus, find out about the latest races, rallies, and custom products and services in your area. Check out Wheels of Thunder on Facebook and follow them on Twitter. Wheels of Thunder. Wallingberg and Deebly believes in families. We understand and support families in all their many forms. And when legal problems arise in the family, Wallingberg and Deebly is there. Wallingberg and Deebly, the premier family law firm of Minnesota. When you need us, call 612-326-3453 or visit wbdlaw.com.
Welcome back. It's Game On, powered by the Courtside Bar Grill. Once again, happy Father's Day. That was very cute having the kids in here. Father's Day to you as well. Thank you very much. When we talk about activity here, obviously, we'd love for you to come out and watch us at a taping of Game On, but there's a lot of other activities, right? Yep. Tuesday nights while we tape Game On, we have darts going on. Right, right by. Wednesdays and Sunday nights, we have a bags tournament. Every weekend, we have live entertainment. And as the superstar and others will tell you, the best hamburgers this side of the Mississippi. What can I say, man? How, what is it, 12, 13, 14,000? I think we're creeping up to 15. Very nice. Craig Carter from the Courtside Bar and Grill. It is time for the Mayak Minute. This is Tim Miles, the head coach, track and field at St. John's. Great to have you with us. Thank you, Ron. Good to be here. The championship is over. You guys won the track and field championship. It's got to feel good as you head into the summer. Mission accomplished. It, it feels great that we won, I guess, five of them in the last 15 years, and and uh, every one of them feels great. We hadn't won since 2007, so it uh, gets to be a little bit of a while. Uh, as ever, you do it with great kids, and it was especially rewarding seeing them really appreciate what they'd done. It wasn't a sure thing by any means. There was a lot of competition. St. Thomas, obviously, the odds-on favorite normally going in, but the bottom line is everybody came together and really was impressive when it counted. Uh, Hamlin was the team to, to beat, I felt. Okay. Uh, St. Thomas, very, very good. And uh, oh, yeah. the little, they have, we all have, to have our injuries. They had a few more than usual to some key people. Um, had they been healthy, I felt that would have been real uh, close with St. Thomas. And I really felt Hamlin had the better team. Uh, but yeah, you're right. It was uh, it was it was a great comp a three-way competition. What we en envisioned. You're not just busy outdoor. You have cross country in the fall. And I, I asked you off camera if you were preparing for that. You're you're ready for the summer. Darn right. And you gave your kids quite a compliment. Tell us what that. Well, you know, I tell you, what, I coached high school at Creighton High School for three years, and and uh, that first year, first day of summer, you give them the big pep talk about running all summer, and maybe they have a good run the next day. But speeches mean nothing. Um, my first, after my first season at St. John's, I just uh, thought, well, I'm not, I'm not going to give the rah-rah at all. I didn't need it. It won't help. And then they came back to school in September. They were so fit. I thought, well, coaching's pretty easy. Um, they're going to train great. Uh, and uh, so we'll be ready to go when September rolls around. I really feel like we see them all year round. We've got an indoor track and cross-country, tra outdoor track and field. And, we need some apart time, and, and uh, they'll train very well. I don't, I don't worry about that in the least. He is the coach of the year. He's Tim Miles down from Collegeville. We're honored that you take the time to be with us. Continued success and have a great summer. <laughs> That's my plan. Thanks very much. Coach, thank you very much. All in our Mayak Minute. And there's no better time to golf than now, and especially golf for a purpose. We'd love to have you out at Golf for the Gift. June 23rd at Troy Burn. It's my charity golf event to raise money to help couples secure their forever family through gift of adoption grants. It's a Troy Burn Golf Club, fun, relaxing, challenging, and for a great cause. Check us out, it's golfforthegift.com. June 23rd, we hope you can join us. And that's it for us. Thank you for letting us be a part of your day on this Father's Day. Don't forget, check out our website, gameontvmn.com for all the latest updates. And we are on Twitter, and yes, we answer your tweets. So from all of us at Game On, thanks again. Have a great week and keep your game on.